to you, Jesus. We honor you, everlasting Father. Yes, Lord. We glorify you, Prince of Peace. We glorify you. You are the Lord of Lords. Yes, Lord. You are the great I am. You are the great I am. You are the you are the creator who was never created. Yes, Jesus. You are the savior of humankind. Amen. We honor you this morning. We honor you. Even as we commemorate the entry of Jesus in this earth to save and to seek and save that which was lost. Yes, Lord. Father, we honor you. I want us to thank God for the gift of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you for giving us Christ. Thank you, Indeed, he has saved our lives. Thank you, he has redeemed us. Thank he you, has bought us and he has purchased us thank you, with a prize. Yes. We honor you this morning. Yes, Jesus. I want you to go before the Lord yes. and thank him for Jesus. Thank you, Lord, we thank you for Jesus. Thank he died in my place. Yes, he was rejected that I can be accepted. Thank you, Lord. He became a curse that I can be a blessing. Thank you, he died that I can live. Thank you, Through his stripes I was healed. Just thank God for the mission of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You, Father, Lord. we thank you for Jesus. You, we Jesus. glorify your name. You, he is the reason for this season. Yes, he Lord. is the one that we are here to celebrate. Yes, we are here to commemorate. Yes, the Lord. people who are walking in darkness. You, the Jesus. people are in darkness of death. Yes, they were in darkness of hopelessness. You, we were in darkness without a savior. But because of Jesus, yes, we have become purchased. You, and we are the children of God. Thank him for Jesus. Thank him for Jesus. For to us a child is born. And to us a, a child is a son is given. Father, we thank you. We will no longer be in darkness because Jesus has come for us. He has come for us. He has come to rescue us. He has come to save us. He has come to redeem us. We honor you, Lord. We exalt you. We, exalt we you. magnify your name. Magnify we celebrate you. your name. We, celebrate we glorify you. your name. He lays a kibura biaza. Landele boza katalabaza. In Jesus' name. Yes. We believe and we pray. Amen. In John chapter number 3 and the verse number 16. John chapter number 3, verse 16. Your the Bible heart. said, For God so loved. This is very important. From God so loved the world. So the greatest motivation of God is love. From God so loved the world. He didn't love the world because the world was luscious. He didn't love the world because the world was doing the right thing. The Bible said for this reason. For God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever. I was explaining whosoever last evening to my children. Whosoever means everybody. Minus nobody. Whether you are tall or short. Whether you are rich or poor. Whether you are learned or you are not learning. Whether you, you know people or you know nobody. Whatever color, whatever background, whoever shall believe in him will not perish but shall have everlasting life. Left your right hand and say, My father, my father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I accept your love. I accept your love. I accept Jesus. I accept 
Jesus. I will never be lost. I will never be lost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer for that second. I receive the gift of God. I receive Jesus. I can never perish. I am loved by God. I am needed by God. I am blessed by God. I will never perish. God loved me. While I was a sinner, and he gave me Christ, I will never perish. I will never be wasted. I will never be useless. Pray that prayer in the name of the Lord. Whatever it is that devils are planning, weakness is organized against my life. It will never happen. I am loved by God. I am saved by the blood. I am redeemed with a price. Pray that prayer and tell every devil I am loved by God. I am needed by God. I am saved by God. I am marked for salvation in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer by faith. I can never be lost. I can never be wasted. Jesus has come for me. Jesus has paid the price. Jesus has redeemed me. Me. I am a sign. I am a wonder. In the name of the Lord. Shout Amen. Amen. Then prophet Isaiah. Now, Nabi Isaiah, in Isaiah number 9 Isaiah tisa, verse number 2 he tells us anatuambia. the people that walked in darkness Watu wale have giza. seen a great light Wameona mwanga mku. they that dwell in the land of the shadow of death ya upon mautu. them Juu yao. the light has shined mwanga umenga. the people walking in darkness Watu kwa giza. the people who have been living hopeless Watu wale wa the people without sense of direction a people without sense of belonging they have seen a great light they have seen a great light the light of Christ will take away darkness out of your life the light of Christ will take away wickedness out of your life the light of Christ will purchase for you a possession in God in the name of Jesus I said in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus can you shout and believe us amen Amen. please take your seat for a moment Jesus is Lord hallelujah Hallelujah. Merry Christmas Merry Christmas hallelujah hallelujah you know what we are trying to do? We are taking back our Christmas. Tuna tena Christmas yetu. From the merchants. Kutoka from kwa, the entrepreneurs. Kutoka kwa uz, wa uzai, from kwa the diverters of the purpose. Kwa kwa we are taking back our Christmas. Tuna tena Christmas yetu. I said we are taking back our Christmas. Nasema, tuna tena Christmas, yetu. Christmas is not the Santa Claus. Uh, Christmas. See your Santa Claus. Christmas is not uh, putting on a, 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 a red coffee. Funny. Uh -huh. And then Christmas. and then a red. Uh, you 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 can see it all over in the supermarket. That oh. is not what we call Christmas. He or she or tonight a Christmas. Christmas is not Christmas tree. Christmas is a muti wa Christmas. 
Christmas is not dressing in a special way. Christmas is kuvaria na jia special. So we are taking back our day. Kwa hivyo tunanyakuwa tena siku hiyo. We are taking back our celebration. Tunanyakuwa tena chango. We are taking back and bringing in the meaning, the na, actual meaning of Christmas. Na tunanyakuwa tena na kuleta maana halisi ya Christmas. Because the world has taken away Christmas. Maana dunia imenyakuwa Christmas. It is a time to eat. Ni wakati wa kukula. It's a time to travel. Ni wakati wa kusafiri. It's a time to to to, to give gifts. Ni wakati wa kupeana zawadi. It's a time to receive gifts. Ni wakati wa kupokea zawadi. All those things are good. Vivyo mambo haya. But Christmas kumazu. is the mass of Christ. Lakini Christmas ni ibada. It is the celebration of the of a birthday. Ni kusherehekea siku ya kuzaliwa. Ya mokozi. Who was born for you and for me? Ali yezaliwa kwa ajili yako. So this is not about the Asian the Santa Claus. Kwa hivyo si kuhusu yule Santa Claus wa zamani. Who they give gifts. Aliyekuwa anatembea na That is not zawa. Christmas. Hiyo si Christmas. Christmas is the believers commemorating the birth of their savior. Christmas ni wa Kristo wakisherehekea kumbukumbu ya kuzaliwa kwa Kristo. If there is a day kama kuna siku that every believer should be in the presence of the Lord. Ambayo kila muumini anafaa kuwa wepeni wa Mungu. Christmas day ni siku ya Christmas it's about salvation ni kuhusu wokovu it's about regeneration ni kuhusu kuumbwa upya it's upia. about restoration ni kuhusu kurejeshwa it's about redemption ni kuhusu ukombozi it's about forgiveness of sin ni kuhusu msamaha wa dhambi it's dami. about healing of our bodies ni kuhusu kuponywa kwa miili it's yetu. about us getting born again ni kuhusu sisi kuokoka tell your neighbor and give me back my christmas give me back my Christmas. Hallelujah. 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 Let's take our scripture here. Hebu tuangalie laandiko hapa. A very familiar portion of the scripture. Laandiko ambalo tunalifahamu vizuri. Matthew number 2 verse 2. Mathayo sura ya pili mstari wa pili. Matthew 2 2. Mathayo 2 2. We take it from verse 1. Sasa tunaanza kutoka mstari wa kwanza. Now when Jesus was born, na basi sasa wakati Yesu alipozaliwa Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king Dani ya Bethlehem ya Judea nyakati za Herod mfalme Behold there came wise men Tazama wakaja mama juzi Men from the east to Jerusalem Walio toka mashariki Yerusalem Saying where is he that is born king of the Jews Wakisema ako wapi yeye aliyezaliwa mfalme wa Yahudi We have seen his star in the east Tumeona nyota yake mashariki and we are come to worship him Na tumekuja tumwabudu When Herod the king heard these things Wakati Herod mfalme alisikia mambo He was troubled and all in Jerusalem with him Akafadhaika pamoja na Yerusalemu yote pamoja naye And when he and gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people na baada ya kukusanya makuhani wakuu na wadishi wa mahali demanded from them where Christ should be born akawaamurisha afahamu ni wapi Kristo angezaliwa and they sent unto him in Bethlehem of Judah na wakamwambia ni katika Bethlehem ya Judea for thus it is written by the prophet maana vivyo ndivyo imeandikwa na manabii O Jeru O Bethlehem in the land of Judah Yewe Bethlehem you are not the least among the princes of Judah Je wewe si ni mdogo katikati ya wakuu wa Judah For out of you shall come a governor Kwa maana kutoka kwako kutatoka That shall rule my people Israel Atakayetawala watu wangu Israeli Hallelujah Hallelujah I have seen a statement that said wise men still seek Jesus. Niliona laandiko linalosema wenye hekima bado wanatafuta Yesu. Them that are wise. Wale wenye hekima they still seek Jesus. Bado wanamtafuta Yesu. They still worship him. Bado wanamwabudu because wise men were the first people 
people kwa sababu wenye hekima ndio walikuwa wa kwanza they were the first people to recognize the birth of jesus ndio walikuwa wa kwanza kutambua kuzaliwa kwa yesu they were ambitious men walikuwa wanashuguri they were working in their fields walikuwa watenda kazi katika maeneo they were taking care of their livestock walikuwa wanashughulikia mifugo yao and when the star appeared na wakati nyota ilitokea and they were guided by the spirit na wakaongozwa na roho through the angelic visitation kupitia kutembelewa kwa malaika they started following the star wakaanza kufuata nyota leading them to where jesus was supposed to be born ikiwaongoza pale yesu angezaliwa and i remember when i went to nigeria first to preach na wakati nakumbuka nilipoenda nigeria kuhubiri i introduced myself or rather they introduced me as a man from the east na wakanitanguliza kama mtu aliyetoka mashariki and somebody said this week we shall be blessed by a wise man na, from the east na mtu mmoja akasema juma hili tutabarikiwa na mwenye hekima kutoka mashariki and even the bible said wise men came from the east na biblia pia inasema majuzi they saw a star wakaona nyota and they followed that star wakafuata ile nyota and we said again they went asking where is he na tukasema tena walienda wakiuliza who has been born the king of jews aliyezaliwa mfalme wa yesu where is he ako wapi today i came to ask where are you na siku ya leo nimekuja kuuliza uko wapi tell your neighbor you are not born ordinary you are not born ordinary mwangalie mtu ongea na sabori ongea na sabori mwambie my neighbor my neighbor you are not born ordinary you are not born ordinary. you are born special you are born special hallelujah hallelujah so they were not missing ones kwa hivyo hawako wanachanganya they came mwane. looking for the one walikuja kutafuta who was born special aliyezaliwa special and we said here before na tukasema atangia every mwana. child of god was born with a star kila mwana wa mungu alizaliwa na this christmas day natangaza hii siku you are star must shine amen whether your neighbors or your haters want it or not amen you are star must shine amen wave your head and say my star must shine my star must shine i can't hear you wave it again and say my star my star must shine must shine in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. So they were asking where is he? Walikuwa wanauliza who was born king? Aliyezaliwa mfalme. They were looking for somebody. Walikuwa wanatafuta who was born is special. Aliyezaliwa special. And I announce again. Natangaza tena. You are born a special child. Ulizaliwa special. You are not born just like that. Au kuzaliwa au kuzaliwa. You are born to be special. Ulizaliwa uwe special. That is why Paul said. Na Apostle Paul anasema. The entire creation. Ulimwangu wote has been waiting. Umesubiri for the manifestation of the sons of God this means the sons of God are already born hiyo inamaanisha watu wa Mungu they have not done they have not manifested ile hawajafanya hawajaidhirishwa stand up and go to three people heshima na and tell them it is your time to manifest muambie ni muda wako it is your time to manifest 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 is your time hallelujah hallelujah this means he na manisha please take your seat tafadhali unaweza you are born to manifest ulizaliwa uidhirishwe you are born to be noticed ulizaliwa uwe you are born to be celebrated ulizaliwa usherekee you are born to occupy a particular position ulizaliwa umiliki na kazi kwa in the name of jesus hasa kwa jina la yesu whenever you must manifest mahali popote receive power of christmas Amen. and go and manifest Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. wave your head and shout hallelujah hallelujah i said wave your head and shout hallelujah hallelujah wave your head and shout hallelujah hallelujah so the entire creation kwa hivyo uubaji wote is waiting unasubiri for your manifestation kuidhirishwa kwako ask your neighbor where are you where are you mwangalie macho muulize where are you mtegemee People are waiting for you. Watu wanakusubiri. In your business. Katika biashara. People are waiting for you. Watu wanakusubiri. In your career. Katika taaluma. People are waiting for you. Watu wanakusubiri. In your family. Katika jamii yako. People are waiting for you. Watu wanakusubiri. In the neighborhood. Katika jumuiya. Where you come from. Mahali unatoka. It is your time to manifest. Receive power to manifest. Amen. 
Receive power to manifest. Amen. Receive power to manifest. Amen. A star is supposed to shine. There is no other work. Hakuna kazi no other job description Hakuna kazi of a star. Ya nyota. A star must shine. Nyota razima inai. Heo sabori you are a star. You are a star. Heo sabori you are a star. You are a star. And a star must shine. And a star must shine. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The other day. Siku ingine. King David. Mfalme David was resting in his palace. Alikuwa anakaa katika ikuru yake. And he remembered somebody. Na akakumbuka mtu from second Samuel number 9. Kutoka Samueli wa pili sura ya 9. He remembered. Akakumbuka. There is somebody who is supposed to be shining. Kuna mtu anafaa kung'aa. And he asked where where. Na akauliza ana. Do we have anybody? Tuko na mtu yeye. Who is remaining? In the house of King Saul. Kwa nyumba ya mfalme. That I may show them kindness. Ili niwaonyeshe fadhili. He was looking for some from the loyal family is there a lemonant is there somebody who is still alive where are they gone nobody is there I am a friend the son of King Saul his name was Jonathan nobody remaining in his house they came and they told him there is one there is one may God find you when they look for somebody to elevate in your family may God find you I said may God find you may God find you wave your head and shout hallelujah wave your head and shout hallelujah they came back to David and they said to David there is one but he is crippled he is known as Mephibosheth he is hiding and the king asked where is he he was told he is at Lord the bar and the king said go for him I hear the spirit saying people start looking for you your generation will start looking for you your friends will start looking for you those who forgot will start looking for you can you shout yes? Yes! Can you shout yes? Yes! Can you shout yes? Yes! They are looking for you everywhere. They are looking for you in the city. They are looking for you in Meru. They are looking for you in Nairobi. They are looking for you in London. Shout fire! Shout fire! Shout fire! Shout fire! So where is he? Akoabi who has been born king situations hari and the circumstances na matukio of this life ya maisha haya misplaced people yanaweza weka watu mahali ya things may push you mambo yanaweza from where you are supposed to be kutoka mahali unafaa kuwa the wise men are looking for Jesus and they went to the Paris because they thought this is where he is supposed to be born but unfortunately when they got there they lost the star your star will not be lost your star will not be lost I said your star will not be lost they were looking for him where they thought he is supposed to be born when they go to the parish they met Herod Herod was not aware when God want to bless you your enemies will not be aware even if you forget everything else this Christmas don't lose that God will just do things and your enemies will witness when he is already preparing a table before you he will invite them in the day he is honoring you they will surround you he will prepare a table for you in the very presence of your enemies shout and believe us Amen. Amen. They are looking for Jesus. Wanatafuta Yesu. Everywhere. Kila mahali. Everywhere. Kila mahali. But they went to the Herod's palace. Lakini wakaenda kwa ikuru ya Herod. They asked Herod. Wakamuuliza. Where is he? Ako wapi? Who has been born king? Aliyezaliwa mtu. Herod said. Herod anasema. What are you talking about? Unaongea kuhusu nini? Then they said. Wakasema. We saw his star. Tuliona nyota yake. Hey. Eh. 
Then he could look at the, at the heavens. Together with them in his compound. There was no star. God told me. He has come to overthrow. Principalities and powers. He has come to give you what belongs to you. I said he has come to give you what belongs to you. Whatever people denied you. Whatever people never allowed you to enjoy. This Christmas season. You shall enjoy. I said you shall enjoy. I see you celebrating. I see you enjoy. I see you rejoice. In the name of Jesus. Shout and believers. Amen. Amen. This is your season. Look at somebody and tell them this is your season. This is your season. So when they left the compound, when they left the compound of Herod, they saw the star again. They followed the star. And the star took them to where Jesus was. They met the baby with the mother. They opened their treasures. They gave gave them their, their precious things. They gave them frankincense. They gave them money. They gave them silver and gold. Because he was a king. And they worshipped him. And they never went back to hell. God told them don't return. I serve and God will hide your miracle. God will hide your miracle from your enemies. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What God is giving you is permanent. When they saw to change the Herod, and they never went back, God appeared to Joseph. And he told him, Joseph, pick the mother and the child and go down to Egypt. This is all receive instructions. Every problem has a way out. Every predicament has a solution. Receive divine solution to your situation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is loaded with the solution. The Bible said he told the 20,000 people to sit down to share a ranch of a boy because the boy had carried five loaves and two fish and he told 20,000 people to sit down because the Bible said he knew what he was going to do every problem you have been having by the virtue of Christmas 2019 by the birth of Christ receive solutions to your every situation in the mighty name of Jesus when Herod discovered you he has been outweighted he reacted your enemies will react desperately. I said they will react desperately. Nevertheless, they will not stop you. I said nevertheless, they will not stop you. He started reacting. And he gave an order. Every male child, two years and below, should be put to death. This was a reaction of a very, of a, of, a, was he intimidated, was he afraid, was he confused, he was, he was losing his mind. He reacted angrily. And he said, kill all of them. But, you know, he was killing everybody to look for Jesus. But he never got him. When God hides you, devils cannot find you. Amen. I said, when God hides you, devils cannot find you. Yes. He was killing every child. Looking for Jesus. But after killing all of them, Jesus was enjoying his good time in Egypt. Yes, he was not in Israel. I has gone to hide you. I has gone to hide you from accident. Amen. He will hide you from cancer. Amen. He will hide you from your enemies. Amen. 
Amen. He will hide you from sickness. Amen. He will hide you from bad news. Amen. Receive grace and shall fire. Fire. Shall fire. fire. Shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. fire yeah, yeah, yeah. Those that God has hidden. Wale mungu wa no devil can find them out. Hakuna pepo ya ah, you are under the rock. Yes. And the rock is above you. Yes, sir. Jehovah hides me. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible said. Na Bible inasema. Lecho was and cry. Lecho was hand Because of the children. Kwa sababu ya wana. She was crying because the, the, the genocide was too much. Alikuwa analia kwa jiri wa All the male children were killed. Watoto wote vijana wakawiwa. Lecho was crying. Lakeli analia. And she crying for the children. Na analilia watoto. And the Bible said. Na Bibli nasema. According to Luke chapter number one and two. Ringa na na Luke. She could not be comforted. Hange tu. Because the children were no more. He wanted to kill Jesus. The birth of Jesus was a game changer. And Helen trying to stop him. How many know this Christmas day? That the agenda of God cannot be countered by forces of darkness. What God is doing, God will do it. What what God want to achieve, God will achieve it. Where God want you to go, you will go there. Whatever God wants you to own, you shall own it. Anything that is marked for you, it is for you. And no devil can take it away from you. Amen. Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rachel could not be comforted. Because the children were killed. By one insecure king. But Jesus never died. Hakufa. Never died. Hakufa. Remember even Pharaoh. Pharaoh and this youth and decree. Falao alitoa tangazo to kill every male child auwe kila mtoto kijana looking for Moses akitafuta Musa but he never killed Moses lakini hakuua Musa you are a sin of god wewe ni mbegu ya i said you are a sin of god nasema wewe ni you are a sin of god wewe ni mbegu ya you can never be destroyed auwezi i said you can never be destroyed they shall conspire watapanga jana they shall conspire together watapanga jana but it shall come to know lakini haita because God is with us. That is said God is with us. That is why your enemies have never succeeded. That is why you are still around. That is why you are still powerful. You are still moving forward. As if the devil does not exist. Because you are a sin of God. I said you are a sin of God. Wave your head and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave your head and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave your ahead and shout hallelujah hallelujah yes ndio you are a sin of God. Wewe ni mbegu ya Mungu. And a sin of God. Na mbegu ya Mungu cannot be destroyed. Haiwezi angamizwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus survived. Na Yesu akabusulika. And after some time. Na baada ya muda. God went to Joseph again. Mungu akamwendea Yusuf tena. Appear in Egypt. Akiwa kule Misri. I'm proud to be an African. Mimi nafurahia kuwa Mungu. We give Jesus a salam. Tulipatia Yesu. We give him a commendation. Tulimpatia When the world was against him. Wakati dunia ilikuwa We hate them on our land. Tulimpatia inchi. That is why you can't take away Africa from salvation. Na ndipo sasa uwezi ondoa Afrika kwa wokovu. Even when he was facing Sing the cross. Hata wakati alikuwa anaangalia a strong man from Alexandria. Kutoka Alexandria. Simon. Simon assisted him to carry the cross. Akamsaidia kubeba msalaba. Africa you are blessed. Africa mmebarikiwa. I said Africa you are blessed. Africa mmebarikiwa. Africa you are in the plan of God. Africa mko mko. Nobody can take Jesus away from us. Hakuna mtu anaweza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God went to Joseph in Egypt and he told him now stand up take the mother and the child and go back to Israel for those who wanted them dead 
They are no more. You see the death of your enemies. You see them destroyed. He will outlive whoever wants to destroy you. Receive that grace and shout, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So Herod died. Herod and Jesus returned back to Israel. Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why Christmas? Why did Jesus come? The essence of Christmas. Number one. To rescue mankind. From Satan's power. To rescue mankind. From Satan's power. Luke 19 verse 10. Luke 19 verse 10. For the Son of Man is come to seek and save that which was lost. The number one essence of Christmas it is to commemorate the intervention of God to rescue mankind from the power of the devil to seek and to save that which was lost. Jesus came to seek. He came to save that which was lost. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. Never forget that. That is why we celebrate Christmas. Number one. Number two. He appeared to give his life as a ransom to buy us back. Matthew 20 verse 28 Matthew 20 verse 28 Even as the son of man came not to be ministered unto but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Lakini kama muhuduma wakupeana maisha yake kama garama ya kununua wewe. He came to be the price. Alikuja awe garama. To purchase us. Kutununua sisi. He was the ransom. Yeye ndiye alikuwa That God gave to rescue us. Ambacho Mungu alitoa ili atununue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was trying to explain this. We are under a Bible study with my children. And, uh, and uh, I was trying to explain ransom. Ransom or redemption. And I read a story somewhere. There was a man who had a good precious boat. Kuna mtu walikuwa na kondo nzuri. Boat, boat. Ah, um, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, merikebu nzuri. And he loved his boat so much. Na alipenda merikebu yake sana. And one day it was stolen. Na siku moja ika ibiwa. Where they tied them next to the sea, it was missing. Mahali wanafunga katikati ya bamba, katika kando ya bahari ika ibiwa. That is this small, small boats. Hizi ni marikebu, hizi ndokondo. Yes, this, I, I don't know whether, 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 whether Merikebu is the right word. Mashua. Mashua. Uh, thank yes. you, sir. Yes. Uh, samahani. Samahani. So, it was a small wounded one. Ilikuwa imeundwa nambao. And he had done it himself. Na aliunda ye mwenyewe. And it was missing and he cried. Na ilikuwa imepotea akalia. He looked for it everywhere. Haka itafuta kila mahali. He could not find it. Hange ipata. One day as he was walking around the town. Na siku moja akitembea mjini. He went to where they sell on boats. Haka enda mahali wanauza matua. In that coastal city. Katika hiyo eneo ya mwani. And he saw his boat. Haka ona mashua yake. The color was changed. Langi ilikuwa imebadiri. But it was the one. Lakini ilikuwa ina. And he discovered this is my boat. Na kagundu. He went to the shopkeeper. And he told him, sir, this is my boat. I made it myself. This is the design I, I did it. This is the materials I used. This is how special it is to me. 
hivyo specheri ilivyo the shop owner said unfortunately na mwenye duka akasema bahati mbaya i bought it from a seller nilinunua kwa muuzaji he sold it to me akaniuzia and it is here for me to sell it to the willing customer na iko hapa niuzie mununuzi anayetaka he told me if you love it akamwambia kama unaipenda and you need it so much na unaipenda sana this is the amount i paid his needs of fedha nili Lipa. You can redeem it. Unaweza ikomboa. If you give me the money I spent. Ukinipatia fedha I can kukuria. give you back your bond. Ninaweza kukurejeshea. He went and looked for the money. Akaenda akatafuta pesa. And he came and he paid for na, his bond. Na akakuja akalipia mashua yake. So what he paid is known as ransom. Kile alilipa kinajulikana kama kikombozi. Because the bond was his own. Kwa sababu mashua ilikuwa yake. And he had lost it to an scrupulous as devil na alikuwa ameipoteza kwa pimbo ya kwa dada now it became his own twice akainunua ikawa yake mara ya pili so we belonged to god kwa hivyo sisi ni wa mungu we fell into sin tukaanguka kwa dhambi god came looking for us mungu akaja kututafuta and where we were we were still captives of sin na mahali tulikuwa tulikuwa mateka we had another master known as the devil tulikuwa na bwana mwingine kwa jina la god jitana. gave his only son mungu akapeana mwana as a sacrifice kama dhabihu as a ransom kama kikombozi to have us back kutununua tena so jesus kwa hivyo yeye is the ransom yeye ndiye kinukuzi gave ambacho mungu for you to be free ili wewe uwe i announce your freedom natangaza uhuru 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 if any man is in christ jesus kama yeyote he is a new creation yeye ni kiume kipya the old things have gone yakare yamepita the new things have come you are forgiven wewe umesamehewa you are born again umeokoka you are redeemed umekobolewa you are purchased by the blood umenunuliwa kwa receive your freedom pokea uhuru wako i say receive your freedom amen 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 mwimbaji mmoja akaimba kwa kikuyu akasema gutire dhile yes Yes. Na ule waliho ni walihirwe. Yes sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Devil does not own you. Shetani hakumiliki unless you want to hand over yourself to him. Isipokuwa ujikabidhi yeye mwenyewe kwake. He has no rights. Hana haki. He has no right. Hana haki. You are redeemed. And the ransom was paid. Na malipo yalilipwa. Number three. Ya tatu. Jesus. Yesu was manifested to destroy kuharibu the works of the devil hallelujah hallelujah i love that scripture napenda hilo la andiko first john chapter 3 yohana wa kwanza sura ya first john chapter number 3 waraka wa kwanza wa yohana 3 and verse number 8 mstari wa 8 first john 3:8 waraka wa kwanza wa yohana 3:8 first john waraka wa kwanza wa yohana chapter Three. Sura ya tatu. Is that the right one? Yes. Yeah. He that committed the sin is of the devil. Atendae dhambi ni wa shetani. That is very serious. Hii ni kumaanisha sana. That is very serious. Hii ni ya kumaanisha sana. He that committed the sin, atendae dhambi is of the devil. Ni wa shetani. For the devil sinned from the beginning. Maana shetani alitenda dhambi tangia mwanzo. He has been a sinner. Amekuwa mwenye dhambi. And he continues sinning. Na anaendelea kutenda dhambi. Since the beginning of time. Tangia mwanzo wa nyakati. Therefore is a patron sinner. Shetani ni mwanzilishi wa dhambi. He has a career. Ako na taaluma and he has a political party na akona chama cha kisiasa known as SDK inajulikana kama SDK steal kuimba destroy kuangamiza and kill na kuua that is the devil's political party hiyo ndicho chama cha chetani cha kisiasa according to John 10:10 kulingana na Yohana 10:10 the thief cometh mwizi huja to steal kuimba that is the manifesto hiyo ndio of his political party hiyo ndio uh, the political party is sdk uh, um, chama chake ni sdk the manifesto of the agenda is still na mkakati wa mipangilio ni wa kuimba 
destroy and kill by the son of God he was manifested that we may live love and live it more abundantly I announce this Christmas day life in abundance is your portion 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 enjoy in good life. Yes. Enjoy successful life. Yes. Enjoy supernatural breakthrough. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Shout yes. Yes. For this reason. For this purpose. The son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. What are his works? SDK Steal Destroy And kill Steal Destroy And kill Jesus came As an antidote Maliko boza taliash. Devil cannot win any votes. Because the agenda of his being. The agenda of his manifesto. God brought Jesus. To destroy the works of the devil. Sickness is the work of the devil. I declare by his stripes. He was healed. Enjoy divine hell. From the crown of your head to the source of your feet, you are healed. I said you are healed. You are healed. Before the sickness came, your healing was in place. Enjoy your healing. Enjoy your healing. Enjoy your healing. Yes. Shout yes. Yes. Another work of the devil. Untimely death. You not die one day minus your life. Yes. Maliko boza taliash. You shall fulfill. Yes. All the days of your life. Yes. I declare and I declare. Yes. You shall fulfill. Yes. All the days of your life. Yes. Every another work of the devil. It is stagnation. Delay and mark timing. I announce in the name of Jesus. Receive divine speed. Yes. Receive divine speed. Yes. Overtake those who are ahead of you. Yes. Overtake those who left you behind. Yes. Receive speed anointing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Every satanic ancestral curse. Yes. It is the work of the devil. Yes. It is destroyed. Yes. By Jesus. Yes. Shout yes. Yes. Shout yes. Yes. Shout yes. Yes. He came. To destroy the works of the evil one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All demons are arrested by fire. I said, all demons are arrested by fire. Yes. All witches are arrested by fire. Yes. Every ancestral power, every evil pattern against you. It is arrested now. Jesus has come. I said Jesus has come. I announce Jesus has come. I announce Jesus has come. When devil come. Meet him with the blood. When he reports with the sickness. Apply the blood. When he reports with accidents. Claim the blood. Call upon the name of the Lord. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. He shall be saved. When you are in a vehicle and it is almost to cause an accident, declare the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whosoever calls upon the name of Jesus, he shall be saved. He shall be saved. He shall be saved. He shall be saved. Shout yeah. yes! 
Listen to this. Sikia hii. Devil operate. Shetani hufanya kazi. Until you invite Jesus. Hadi unapokaribisha Yesu. And the moment you invite Jesus. Na wakati unakaribisha Yesu. The Bible said God gave him a name. Biblia inasema Mungu alimpatia jina. Above every other name. Juu ya majina yote. God never gave Jesus money. Mungu hakumpatia Yesu. He didn't give pesa. him title deeds. Hakumpatia. He didn't give him vehicles. Hakumpatia magari. He gave him a name. Alimpatia jina. And that name is above. Na hilo jina liko juu. Other name. Juu ya majina yote. And in the name of Jesus. Na kwa jina la Yesu. Every knee shall bow. Kila goti litabiwa. And every tongue shall confess. Na kila urimi that Jesus is Lord. Ya kwamba Yesu ni Mungu. Glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you call upon the name of Jesus, there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is salvation in the name of Jesus. There is restoration in the name of Jesus. There is forgiveness of sins in the name of Jesus. So he came. Kwa hivyo alikuja kuangamiza the works kazi of the devil za shetani where, where you see the work of the devil hali unaona kazi za shetani Jesus has not been invited Yesu hajakaribishwa because he came maana alikuja for this reason kwa sababu hii God will never do anything without a concise concrete agenda Mungu hawezi tenda jambo bila kusudi hali Jesus was manifested Yesu alidhirishwa even as Moses Elevated and manifested the bronze snake. That is how the Son of Man is lifted. When they were beaten by the serpent in the wilderness, they were told, Look unto that bronze snake. And they received their healing. The same way, Jesus is lifted. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tazama ishi sasa kumtazama Yesu amenena mwenyewe. Hallelujah. Utaishi ukitazama. Give the Lord a mighty hand clap in this place. Tazama. Tazama. Uishi. Uishi. He is here. To manifest and to destroy the works of the evil one. So as you celebrate this Christmas, you are calling upon Jesus to manifest in your business, to manifest in your career, to manifest in your finance, to manifest over your children and destroy every work of the evil one. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Number four. What is the essence of Christmas? Jesus came to give us eternal life. Kutupatia uzima wa milele. First John number 5. Yohana wa kwanza sura ya 5. First John number 5 from verse number 11. Walaka wa kwanza wa Yohana sura ya 5 mstari wa 11. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is the record. Na hii ndio nakara. That God has given us eternal life. And this life is in a son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give us verse 12. He that has the son has life. And he that has not the son of God has not life. You have eternal life. I said you have eternal life. After this life, there is another life. After you serve him in your generation, there is another life. We have eternal life. Nobody can destroy the body and the soul. Hakuna mtu wa kuangamiza mwili na mtima na nafsi. Even the devil can't. Hata shetani mwenyewe hawezi. We have eternal life. Tuna uzima wa milele. John 3:16. Yohana 3 mstari wa 16. John 3:16 is a familiar Sunday school scripture. Hii landiko linajulikana hata We have known it since we became who we are. Tumeijua tangia mwanzo hadi sasa. John 3:16 for God so loved 
The world he gave his only begotten son kwa maana jinsi bwana alipenda ulimwengu akapea na mwana wake wa pekee so that whoever believeth in him ili yote amwaminie should not perish asiangamie but should have everlasting life lakini awe na uzima wa milele every believer in jesus kila muumini ndani ya yesu as this hope akona tumaini ili that we have everlasting life ya kwamba tuna uzima wa milele the hazards of christmas kusudi halisi la christmas about everlasting life ni kupata huo uzima jesus was given yesu alitoa and if you believe in him na ukimwamini you shall have everlasting life utakuwa na uzima wa milele clap your hands and give jesus praise kama kofi yako mpatie bwana utukufu hallelujah hallelujah number 5 verses ya tano kusudi he came to give us new birth alikuja atupatie kuzaliwa into the family of god katika familia ya mungu new birth uzaliwa mpya new birth uzaliwa mpya john 112 yohana 1:12 john 1:12 yohana 1:12 you know he came to make sure we are adopted unajua alikuja ili ahakikishe ya kwamba tume tumemilikishwa katika familia you know we didn't belong to god unajua hatukuwa wa miliki we didn't belong to the family of god hatukuwa wa miliki ya jamii ya lakini why are we celebrating kwa nini tunasherekea jesus came yesu alikuja make it possible kuisababisha for last to be adopted children of god ili tuwe wana halisi wa mungu Actually as I'm talking if you are not adopted your adoption papers are being signed by the Holy Ghost. Ha- Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the ink is the blood of Jesus. Amen. And I see the signature is Jesus Christ. Amen. Adoption papers are signed. Makaratasi ya Bwana. You belong to the family of God. Ya kwamba wewe ni wa jamii ya Mungu. The condition is receive him. Ah ah Macharti ni kumpokea but as many as received him lakini kama wale walipokea kwao he didn't give just things that he gave power aliwapatia nguvu because the kingdom of our father is the kingdom of power maana ufalme wa baba yetu ni ufalme wa nguvu hallelujah hallelujah power nguvu he gave them power akawapa to become the sons kufanyika wana of god wa mungu even to them hata kwa wale even to them hata wale haswa even to them hata wale haswa that believe in his name walipoliamini jina lake haleluya 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 so when we cry abba father wakati tunaita baba when we pray my father my father wakati tunaomba baba yangu we are not strangers sisi si wageni we are sons sisi ni wana did you hear that umesikia you are not a stranger wewe si mgeni you are a son wewe ni mwana whether you are born biologically and daughter or a son a male or female in christ we are sons hiwe umezaliwa kihalisi au la katika kristo sisi ni wana the bible does not say sons and daughters biblia haisemi wana wa kike na wa kiume we are all sons sisi wote ni wana and we are heirs na sisi ni warithi together with our elder brother jesus pamoja na ndugu yetu mkubwa yesu hallelujah hallelujah we are sons sisi ni wana so when we pray my father my father wakati tunaomba baba yangu baba yangu he hears us anatusikia and we don't budget we don't work with our pockets we work with his pocket na hatufanye kazi na mifuko yetu tunafanya kazi na mifuko yake for the last few days my daughter fever kwa siku chache zimepita da binti yangu fever has been telling me i want to surprise my siblings amekuwa akiniambia nataka kuchangaza wenzangu katika familia and she told me we are going to go out na akaniambia tutaenda nje on 23rd or 24th tarehe 23 au 24 and make sure lina and mwenda are not aware na uhakikishe lina na mwenda hawana habari and i asked her where are we going na nikamuuliza she told me i want to buy all of them gifts nataka kununulia wote zawadi and wrap them and surprise them na ni ni pange vifuruchi ni watu and the greatest gift belonged to the mother na 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 ile zawadi she told me i also want to surprise my mother na akaniambia nataka kujangaza mama yangu pia then yesterday na jana she and said i wake up very early akaniambia that she will get ready and go out with me before the other two wakes up aji tayarisha tuende nje kabla ya wengine waamke 
And then I asked her, where is the money? Pesa ziko wapi? Where is the money? Pesa ziko wapi? Because the gift was too expensive. Kwa sababu zawadi zilikuwa za bei. She looked at me and asked me that. You have it. Uko nayo. She never consulted me but she was budgeting. Hakuniuliza lakini alikuwa amepanga. Wow. That was a big lesson. Hii ilikuwa funzo kubwa. That because I'm the father, kwa sababu mimi she can budget with my pocket ana, without my permission. Anaweza panga na mfuko wangu pazipo ruhusa yangu. And execute and she doesn't care how much it is. Na anapanga hajaje. She believes the father will afford. Anaamini baba yake anaweza. That's how we should relate with our God. Hivyo ndivyo tunafanya. I said that's how we should relate with our God. Hivyo ndivyo tunafanya. Our God is our Father. Mungu wetu ni baba yetu. And yetu. whatever we need he has it. Na chochote tunacho. I said he has whatever we may need. Na nacho tunacho. We are adopted and we are the sons of God. Tumepewa uwa. And our Mungu. Father is the owner na Mungu wetu ni of, the, of the earth and the abundance there is wa vyote vilivyo duniani kato na thousand hills mitugo juu ya mipaka ya gold dhahabu na fedha belong to our god if you are here stand on your feet sir pray the king of kings sir pray the lord of lords this christmas day hallelujah hallelujah hey. Hey. Please be seated for a moment. Tafadhali unaweza pata kuketi. I didn't know. Sikuwa najua. I didn't know. Sikuwa najua. Because you are a child. Kwa sababu wewe ni mwana. You can operate with your father's budget until this Christmas. Unaweza kutumia mfuko wa baba yako hata Christmas hii. Give us verse 13. Tupatie mstari wa 15. Thank you Holy Ghost. Asante Roho Mtakatifu. Which one born? Waliozaliwa. Not of blood. Si kwa damu. Nor of the will of the flesh. Wala sio kwa mapenzi. Nor of the will of man. Wala si kwa mapenzi ya binadamu. But of God. Lakini kwa Mungu. We are born. Tulizaliwa into the family of God. Katika jamii ya Mungu by the will of God. Kupitia mapenzi ya Mungu. No man can stop this. Hakuna mwanadamu anaweza kuleta. No power can stop this. Hakuna nguvu zinaweza kuleta. It is God's own design. Ni kusudi la Mungu mwenyewe. That has made this possible. Amefanya hili kuwezekana. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor I am a son. I am a son. Say that with the power. Say that with you know we were given power to be called. Unajua tu. So you become a son of God by power. Ulifanyika mwana wa Mungu kwa nguvu. Tell somebody I am a son. I am a son. Hey. Hey. No arguments. Hakuna kubishana. No arguments. Hakuna mabishana. We are born tumezaliwa into that family. Katika hiyo family. By the will of God. Kwa mapenzi ya Mungu. That is why we celebrate Christmas. Na ndipo sasa tunasherekea Christmas. Number 6. Ya sita. To restore kurejesha our fellowship with god the father ushirika wetu na baba mungu the fellowship was broken ushirika ulivunjika according to first in john chapter 1 verse 3 kulingana na waraka wa yohana wa kwanza first john chapter 1 verse 3 waraka wa kwanza wa yohana 1:3 hallelujah hallelujah that which we have seen ambalo lile tumeona and the hand na tumesikia declare we unto you ndicho tunakutangazia that ye also may have fellowship ili basi muwe na ushirika with us kwetu sisi and the truly our fellowship is with the father and with the son jesus christ na ukweli ushirika wetu ni kwa mungu baba na pia mwanawe kristo yesu our fellowship ushirika wetu is with god the father ni kwa mungu baba and with the son jesus christ na kwa kristo yesu mwanawe believe us if you know Waamini kama unajua the position God has allocated you in his kingdom nafasi ambayo Bwana amekutualia katika ufalme wake you shall operate in power and authority utafanya kazi kwa nguvu na mamlaka we are fellowship tuna ushirika we are one sisi ni kitu kimoja we are one might tuna wazo moja we have the mind of christ tuna mawazo ya we are united tumeunganishwa we are connected tumeunganishwa we have fellowship tuna ushirika with the father na mungu baba and those who is son na pia mwanawe jesus christ yesu christo so jesus came kwa hivyo yesu alikuja to make this fellowship possible kusababisha ushirika huu uwezekane and that is the essence of christmas hiyo ndio uhalisi wa christmas 
sita. Another one is he came to show us what God is like. Ya saba alikuja kutuonyesha baba yetu Mungu ako namna gani. How is God? Na Mungu ako vipi? How is God? Mungu ako vipi? What does John tell us in chapter 1 verse 18? Yohana anatuambia aje sura ya kwanza 18. Jesus came to show us. Yesu alikuja kutuonyesha. What God is like. Mungu ako namna gani? John chapter 1 verse 18. Yohana moja sura ya 18. No man has seen God. Hakuna mwanadamu ameona Mungu. At any time. Kwa muda wote ule. The only begotten son. Lakini mwana wa pekee. Which is in the bosom of the father. Aliye kifuani cha baba. He has declared him. Amemtangaza yeye. So he came. Alikuja basi. To show us. Atuonyeshe. Who is God? Mungu ni nani? And he said I am the way. Akasema mimi ndimi njia. I am the truth. Mimi ndimi ukweli. And I am the life. Na mimi ndimi uzima. Nobody go to the Father. Hakuna amwendeaye baba unless you come by me. Isipokuwa apitie kwangu. Very important. Ya muhimu sana. John 14 also. Yohana 14. John 14 is another very important scripture in this. Yohana 14 ni laandiko lingine muhimu sana kwa hiyo. Hallelujah. 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 John 14 Yohana 14 for your notes indicates verse 7 to verse 11 kwa maandishi yako andika sura uh, mstari wa 7 mstari wa 8 no verse 7 to verse 11 mstari wa 7 hadi 11 samahani but uh, i want to i want to refer verse 11 lakini nataka niangalie mstari wa 7 and 12 na 12 believe me niaminini that i am in the father ya kwamba mimi niko and the father in me na baba yuko ndani yangu all else believe me for the work's sake na hata hivyo niaminini kwa kazi zinazotendeka believe i am in the father amini niko ndani and the father is in me na baba yuko ndani yangu and if you cannot just believe na kama huwezi amini hilo look at my works angalia kazi zangu look at the miracles angalia miujiza i am raising the dead ninafufua watu i'm opening bright eyes ninafungua mtu i'm unclogging deaf ears ninafungua vizuri i'm raising the dead ninafufua wafu cripples are walking mvilema wanatembea the sick are receiving their healing wagonjwa wanapokea ugonjwa if you want to know i am with god kama unataka kujua ni nani you don't believe in anything na huamini chochote consider my works angalia kazi yangu and you will believe na utaamini hallelujah hallelujah verily verily amini amini I say unto you Now I'm being he that believeth on me anani amini mimi the works that I do na matendo ninayotendea shall he do us ndivyo vivyo atenda and in greater works than these na kazi kuu kuliko hizo shall he do ndicho atatenda because I go maana naenda to my father kwa baba yangu he that believes uh, have you seen the works umeona yes. matendo umeona but verily i say lakini amini nawaambia he that believes in me anayeniamini mimi the works that i do mambo yale na he shall do also atatenda pia and in greater works than this na matendo makuu kuliko haya shall he do ndio atatenda why kwa nini i am going naenda to my father kwa baba and when i'm there na wakati niko and you are connected with me na umeunganishwa nami you have power una nguvu to do greater work utenda kazi kuu clap your hands and give jesus praise ya bwana utukufu wa makofi hallelujah hallelujah he showed us the love of god alituonyesha upendo wa mungu he showed us the love of god alituonyesha upendo wa mungu i believe that is verse number 8 na mimi hiyo ni mstari wa 8 i want to get to 10 and then i stop there for today nataka nifike kwa he showed us god's love alituonyesha upendo wa mungu first john number 4 uh, yohana wa kwanza 4 these scriptures are important you never celebrate christmas in darkness haya maandiko ni muhimu hatusherekei christmas gizani first John number 4 verse 9. Walaka wa kwanza wa Yohana 4 mstari wa 9. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First John 4 verse 9. Walaka wa kwanza wa Yohana 4 mstari wa 9. In this was manifested the love of God to us. Na kwa hii aliidhirisha upendo wa Mungu Baba kwetu. Because that God has sent his only begotten son into the world kwa maana Mungu alimtuma mwanae wa pekee duniani that we might live through him ili tuishi kupitia yeye here in is love hii basi ni upendo 
not that we loved God but that he loved us and he sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins he showed us the love of God number 9 Jesus came to show us the power of God that is another essence of Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, he healed the sick. He opened pride eyes. Deaf ears. Raise the dead. Remember the Jairus daughter. Remember Lazarus. He lifted them from the dead. When you go to to Matthew number 4 verse 24. Very important. I'm finishing. We keep our promise. And his fame went throughout. All his fame went throughout. In Syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken within diverse diseases and torments. And those which were possessed with devils. You know devils can possess lives. And those which were lunatic. And those that he had who had palsy. Na wale ambao walikuwa wamepoza. And he healed them. Na akawaponya wote. What a mighty God we serve. Mungu mkuu namna gani tunatumia? Clap your hands and say thank you Jesus. Mpigie bwana makofi sema asante. He showed us the power. Actually, Matthew puts it together. In Matthew, what he tells you in diverse diseases. And asema maradhi tofauti. And the torments. Na mateso ya mapepo. People possessed by devils. Watu waliyo setu wa na mapepo. The crazy people. Watu waliyo kisha. Those who are paralyzed. Waliyo kuwa virema. And he healed all of them. Without Jesus, we are not aware of the power of God. But with Jesus, we know the power. So when next you see cripples walking here, you will not run away. If you have not said amen, you are not in Christmas. Hallelujah. 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 When you see bright eyes opening here, you will not go crazy. Waki ona hauta kuwa keja. Na uta sema kuna nguvu za shetan. Utajua ni nguvu za mungu. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, believers don't believe in miracles. Unajua wa umini hawa amini ni ujiza. And religion has removed the miraculous bait from Jesus. They just keep the dates and the, and the functions and the cultures and the tradition. Religion without power is dead. So when you see those who are possessed by devils. When you see those who are addicted to masturbation. When you see moral people. When you see prostitutes crossing their brothers. As they have done here before. And all the people that are addicted to drugs. And those who are paralyzed even physically. You know. This is the power of God. With your head and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. With your head and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can also record in John number 9. Verse 1 to 7. Remember Jesus casted out devils. He performed miracles. He raised the dead. To show us the power of God. That is the essence of Christmas number 9. The last one for today. The last one for today. He came to die. 
alikuja afe on the cross msalabani for us kwa niaba yetu he was born alizaliwa to die akufe he came alikuja to die akufe he came to show us off number 1 to verse to number 9 alikuja tuonyeshe moja hadi tisa and then climax it all na baadaye kile by time for you and for me akufie wewe na mimi first peter Petilo wa kwanza chapter 2 verse 24 Sula ya, ya pili ishina First ina. Peter 2:24 Petilo wa kwanza 2:24 Haleluya Haleluya Who is own self bear our sins Ninani. in his own body on the tree Ni nani yeye aliyetundikwa dhambi zetu uh, juu ya mwili wake That we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness. Ili sisi tukiwa wafu katika dhambi tuwe hai katika haki. By his stripes kupitia mapigo yake you are healed. Tulipona. Isaiah 53 Isaiah 53 verse 5 and 6. Thank you Holy Ghost. That is the last scripture for today. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Lakini akajeruhiwa kwa ajili ya He was bruised for our iniquities. Akapigwa kwa ajili ya chastisement of our peace was upon him. Na mateso ya amani yetu ilikuwa juu yetu. And with his stripes. Na kwa mapigo yake. You were healed. Ulipona. Remember Kumbuka. He took away our infirmity. Alichukua uh, udhaifu wetu. He took away our sickness. Alichukua maradhi yetu. He took away our curses. Alichukua laana zetu. He took away anything that was wrong with us. Alichukua vyote vilivyokuwa mbaya nasi. Remember he died. Kumbuka alikufa. For you to live. Ili uishi. He was rejected. Alikatariwa. For you to be accepted. Ili ukubariki. He became a curse. Alifanyika laana for you to be a blessing. Ili wewe ufanyike baraka. And he was wounded. Na akajeruhiwa for you to be forgiven. Ili usamehewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By his stripes. Kwa mapigo yake we were healed. Tumepona. This is Jesus. Huyu ni Yesu. And this is the one we are celebrating. Na huyu ndiye tunashiriki. Not the Jesus of Santa Claus. Si Yesu wa Santa Claus. Not the Jesus of Christmas trees. Si Yesu wa muti wa Christmas. Don't allow people to remove the essence of Christmas. Usikubali wanadamu kuondoa umuhimu wa Christmas. Such that you forget everything else and people will go crazy. Hadi unasahau vyote watu wanaenda kisa. Some people do sins they don't do any other time during Christmas. Watu wengi ufanya dhambi ambazo watendagi because Christmas is known all over the world. Kwa sababu Christmas inajulikana dunia nzima. It is the biggest holiday. Ni rikizo iliyo kuu. Go to all the shops now they are closed. Enda kwa maduka yote yamefungwa. Even people from the other faith. Hata watu wa imani zingine. They can't ignore Christmas. Hawawezi puuza Christmas. They cannot ignore. Hawawezi puuza because they know it is big. Kwa sababu wanajua ina nguvu. But the devil has been working around the clock. Lakini shetani amefanya kazi kupitia masaa. To remove Christ from his celebration. Aondoe Kristo kwa sherehe zake. May God of Christmas. Na Mungu wa Christmas manifest in your life. Aidhirishe maisha yako. May God of Christmas. Na Mungu wa Christmas manifest in your family. Aidhirishe familia yako. May God of Christmas. Na Mungu wa Christmas manifest in your child. Aidhirishe kanisa yako. May God of Christmas. Na Mungu wa Christmas appear to you. Akutokee in broad daylight. Katika mwanga wa That you may know what about Christmas. Hadi ujue Christmas ina maana. Clap your hands and celebrate Jesus. Bwana makofi ya changwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also remember. Na pia kumbuka. That is verse 10b. Hiyo ni mstari wa 10. Uh, we can't ba. end it that he died. Hatuwezi marizia eti alikufa. We end it like that he resurrected. Tunaimarizia ya kwamba alifufuka. Go and read Matthew 28. Henda soma Mathayo 20. He resurrected. Alifufuka. In defeated death ali ama alishinda kifo and resurrected akafufuka and that is why we can ask dead where is your sting na ndipo sasa tunaweza uliza uchungu wako where is your sting o dead uchungu wako uko wapi where is your sting o dead uchungu wako uko wapi you have no power again hauna nguvu tena but god was rich in mercy 
For his great love wherewith he loved us. Even when we were dead in sins. He quickened us together with Christ. By the grace. You are saved. Ephesians number 2, verse 4 and 5. Please stand on your feet. That is Christmas. That is the essence of Christmas. As you go to celebrate with your family members, with your friends and relatives, you know what you are celebrating. It is the mass of Christ. It is the celebration of Christ. And the please. I said again, let us reject the temptation of Xmas. Xmas means a cancelled mass, cancelled celebration. Don't use X. I said again, and it bears repetition. Yes. I see many of us are doing like that. Now, Never remove Christ from the celebration. Never write X mass. X means cancel. And you have already cancelled Christ out. It is Christ mass. It is not X mass. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are we together? Wave your head and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave your head and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Left your right hand and say, My father. My father. I receive the gift of Christ. I receive the gift of Christ. I recognize him. I recognize him. I celebrate him. I celebrate him. I call him my savior. I call him my savior. He is my Lord. He is my Lord. And he is the reason for this season. And he is the reason for this season. Forever and ever. For labor and ever. my heart will honor him. My heart will honor my him. My life will celebrate him. My life will celebrate him. Jesus, Jesus, you are welcome. You are welcome to be born. To be born in my life. In my life, I chase all the guests. I chase all the guests. I chase all the unwanted guests. I chase all the unwanted to create guests. enough room. To create enough room for you to be born. For you to be born, even in my life. Even in my life. In in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout yes. Yes. Shout yes. Yes. Shout yes. Yes. Shout yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Where is he? Akoabi. That has been born king. We have seen this star. And we have come to worship him. We have come. We have come. Unfortunately, in that city, there were many guests because people had gone for census. All the inns, all the hotels were full to capacity. Jesus and nowhere. Yes, to be born but on a manger on a manger because there were many guests could there be guests in your soul that you have no room to accommodate Jesus could there be envy could there be hatred could there be immoral activities or actions could there be anti-covenant practices that have occupied your heart that there is no room for Jesus to be born lift your right hand and say father father I create room I create room in my life in my life in my heart in my heart be born be born welcome in my life welcome in my life I chase all the unwanted guests I chase all the unwanted guests and I create enough room for you and I create enough room for you welcome 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 abide with me abide with me and be comfortable with my life and be comfortable with my life in jesus name in jesus name amen amen clap your hands in jesus. the bible said the bible in asema, when the wise men wakati mama juzi, saw him 
This is important as we live. Hii ni muhimu sana tunapoondoka. When they saw him. Walipomuona. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They worshiped him. Walimwabudu. Verse 11 of Matthew chapter 2. Mstari wa 11 wa Mathayo sura ya 2. As we as we finish together. Tunapomalizia pamoja. And when they were come into the house na wana, walipo ingia kwa nyumba they saw the young child with Mary his mother wakaona mtoto kijana pamoja na mama yake Mariam and they fell down and they worshiped him wakaanguka chini wakamwabudu and when they had opened their treasures baada ya kufungua hazina zao they presented unto him gifts wakamtualia zawadi gold dhahabu frankincense uh, mawe ya dhamana and mar na mane mane they worshiped him wakamwabudu and they opened their treasures wakafungua hazina zao they presented him with gifts wakamtualia zawadi of god ya dhahabu frankincense mawe ya dhamana and mar na mane mane and they worshiped him na wakamwabudu 